Hey, what's going on, y'all? It is yours truly once again. I've never been about setting trends or anything like that. I've always stayed in my own lane. I've always surfed my own wave. That's my way of being original. And so if one ever cared to go down my lane or ride on my wave, at best what you'll be getting is an experience and you know hopefully you like that experience but nevertheless you're getting a lot from that experience of being around me you know um so i look at that as the best kept secret so i think with someone that's similar to me has these type of things in their mind it's about having best kept secrets some things may not necessarily be completely revealed to the world you know there are a lot of things that may be still undiscovered and i think that's a good thing it's all about leaving people to wonder about things in regards to you depending on what type of person you are if you are similar to me and the way that i see myself is uh i see myself as a very enigmatic person and that's just even going uh to that's that's even in regards to my origins on YouTube and my current presence on YouTube. Uh, in my personal life, I still have that same aura, and I call it the lone wolf aura because wolves are very enigmatic, you know. And I've said before, there really isn't a such thing as a lone wolf, but wolves are loners, you know. Um, but that's the thing, you know, just having this enigmatic aura to where you leave people wondering, you know, you have all this knowledge, you have things you talk about, but you operate within your own space, your own autonomous space. And uh, that's been me my whole life. And the only thing I've been able to do is just get better at it. So I think that's key for someone that's similar to yours, truly. Just get better at what you do, even if things seem doubtful at that time. All that means is that you might need to go in a different direction. And that's a good thing because you don't want to go in a bad direction. I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to go in a bad direction. And sometimes your sensories lead you into a different direction just based on maybe certain things you're heading towards, not going to truly uh be what you thought it would be you know and um but nevertheless this is part of why i don't set trends and why i uh i just stay in my own lane and i surf my own wave you know and um i'll continue to do that so you know hopefully hopefully this video is in itself very enigmatic to a lot of people and the main thing i want you to think about overall is when you start to really have your mind set a certain way as far as not trying to set trends, you know, you literally become the trend based on you not trying to follow one. People start to become more inquisitive to what you're doing and what you're saying and how you live. But even then, you're just more or less letting them barely see the tip of your iceberg. They barely see your iceberg, basically. And you just continue to move a certain way. In that regard, uh, whether it's style, fashion, um, um, survival, I don't care what it is. And of course, of course, someone like myself uh, doesn't really like to say the word fashion. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not really about fashion, per se. I mean, I, I know the relevance of the word. Uh, I, I guess more so uh, for me, it's just about a certain appearance. Some days I want to appear this way or maybe some days I want to appear that way it just all depends for me um but I'm just rambling on at this point towards the end of what I have to say overall but just for those who think and act a certain way just get better at it that's the best thing I could tell you don't try to be like others because you were never like them you was always you signing out